Hi, I'm Chris Psaltis. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Mist.io. And today I'm going to walk you through the Mist cloud management platform. Mist is an open source software that helps you control your multi-cloud setups across a large number of public clouds, private clouds, and even bare metal servers. Thanks to our friends at Linode, getting started with Mist is super simple. Let's do it. The first step is to install Mist. Head over to Linode's one-click app marketplace, search for Mist, and deploy the application. This will get you to Linode's manager, and it will pre-select our app. The first thing you need to provide is the email address and password for the Mist admin user. I will use a Debian 10 image and I will create this in the Dallas region. We recommend using the 8 GB Linode so your Mist installation has sufficient resources to run flawlessly. And then finally, I will provide a root password for my new VM and I will associate it with my SSH key so I can later connect to it securely and troubleshoot any issues. Finally, we recommend turning on the automated backups from Linode as a painless and easy way to keep your data safe. Now I'm ready to create this Linode. This will get me to the provisioning process, which will take a couple of minutes, so sit back and relax. My server is now ready and I can visit my brand new Mist installation on this public IP address. In order to sign in, I will use the admin, email, and password I provided during the provisioning step. So here it is. The first thing I need to do in order to get started is obviously to connect my cloud accounts. In every case, I will need to provide some sort of API credentials. Let me show you how simple it is to do it with Linode. I will go back to my Linode manager and under the API token section, I will create a new token. I will name it test and I will give it write access. Now I will copy this token back to my Mist add cloud form. The moment I do that, Mist will auto discover the resources that I have running in my Linode account. And as you can see, it found four VMs. This is exactly the number of VMs that I'm running here. So in just a few seconds, I know my full inventory and I can start performing my first actions. Let's see how you can do that. I will switch now to another demo environment, which is more populated so I can go over MIS functionality. In this demo environment, I have added 11 clouds, both on public and private providers. Across those 11 clouds, I'm running 22 VMs. You can see the full listing here, together with metadata information like state, cost, public IPs, and several others. Let's check out this one. For each VM, you can perform actions like starting, stopping, rebooting, destroying, resizing, but you can also connect them over SSH using MES web cell. As you can see here, this is a fully featured Linux web cell from within the MIST platform, very helpful for troubleshooting without having to go back and forth all the time. Another interesting feature I would like to point out here is monitoring. MIST integrates with Telegraph and InfluxDB in order to collect, store and visualize metrics within your browser. So here you can see all the basic system metrics that I'm monitoring, but adding new ones is very simple. You can do it through the web. You can even deploy custom metrics through Telegraph's Python plugin. So you can write your own Python script that pings an external system or fetches a value from a database and get this metrics inside NIST. On top of those metrics, you can set rules, which I will get to later on. 
and further information down below here more detailed metadata entries coming from your cloud providers and then finally an audit log of all the actions that happened on this VM through MIST's API very useful to know who did what, when and what was the result But besides sending actions to existing VMs and monitoring them, you can also create new ones. I will create a new VM in Linode just to show you how you can do that. I will name it Test VM. I will create it in Frankfurt and I will use the Ubuntu image. I will uh, try the Linode 2 GB size and I will also deploy my SSH key there. I will hit Launch and this will kick off the provisioning process which will be ready in a couple of seconds. As this is happening, let me show you filtering and how you can quickly find the VM you're looking for within your inventory. So for here, for example, I could check out all the VMs I have running on Linode and I could also save this filter for later use so I could switch from the listings in Linode to every resource that I have running. The VM I have created in Linode is ready, so let's check it out. Here it is. Let's check it using the web cell. And as you can see, it is up and running. So as simple as that, you can empower your team to self-service provision resources across all your cloud accounts. Similar listings for volumes. These are block storage devices. You can quickly filter what's attached, what's detached. So you can destroy volumes that are no longer in use. Networks, you can think of Amazon VPCs, zones, these are DNS as a service offered by some public cloud providers like Linode, for example, and then keys, the SSH keys that I went over earlier. The sections I showed you so far are about some really basic resources that you're getting from your cloud providers. But what more can you do with MIST? Let me go into scripts for a second. MIST supports Ansible playbooks and executables like bus scripts. You can create your script template library and then users can come in and start executing those scripts on your VMs. The idea here is that you can help them provision new applications, taking a backup or several other use cases. Once you upload a script in MIST, then you can just run it on any of the VMs that you have SSH access to, providing any relevant parameters if needed. Scripts are executed on a single VM, but in some cases, you might have applications that require some sort of cluster. For example, a database cluster or a Kubernetes cluster. For all those use cases, we offer you the template section. In the template section, we're integrating with another open source technology called Cloudify, which is similar to Terraform. In fact, we have Terraform integration in the works as we speak. So from here, you can upload your template and then execute it on one of your cloud providers. In this example, I have a Kubernetes blueprint that will allow you to create a Kubernetes cluster with one master machine and one worker machine on any of the clouds that you have connected to MIST. So for example, you can spin it up in Linode. In many cases, there are some sort of periodic tasks that you need to execute on your machines. Common examples include taking backups and rotating some logs. So you can do that from MIST schedule section. You can create a new schedule from here. You can define the action you would like MIST to execute. This could be something simple like starting or stopping a VM, but you can also connect one of the scripts that I showed you earlier. 
we commonly see schedules being used for proactively controlling your cloud spend. So what you could do in this case is that you could proactively destroy or stop, let's say all your dev instances, which are older than a day and they're costing you more than $100 per month. This way you can avoid situation where somebody forgets an extra large instance running somewhere and you just discover it in the end of your billing period. I already mentioned monitoring and rules, but I would like to dig into it a little bit deeper here. MIST allows you to set rules on any monitoring metric that you're collecting through our monitoring system. And for example, you can set an alert when your system load goes over a certain threshold. And this can trigger either some sort of email alert or an external webhook, or you can even reboot, destroy, or run some sort of script in response to this event. For example, I detected that my web server is leaking memory, let's just reboot it. Rules can be applied also on top of logs that MIST is collecting. So in this example, you can see that for every new VM that gets created in my AWS Sydney region, I get an email notification. The interesting thing about MIST rules is that you can centrally manage them and you can apply them to old and new resources alike with minimum effort. And all those rule policies will automatically apply to your resources without any further action from your side. Now, finally, I would like to go over two more sections, themes and insights, which are available only in our commercial editions. You can think of themes as a cross-cloud IAM service. For everybody who has worked with IAM services, even in the context of a single cloud, this can be really confusing and really complicated. Now imagine extending that to 11 clouds. So what you can do here with MIST is that you can create your teams, you can invite team members to them over email, and then its member of this team will be able to perform only the actions that you allow them from this section. So for example, I could allow full access to my Linode account, and I could also allow my dev team full access to all the VMs with the tag dev. Using the team section, you can also set constraints like setting cost quotas or configuring minimum and maximum sizes of VMs to be created and several others. Every resource that's managed through MIST and every associated action can be part of those team policy rules. So this is a really powerful feature that's targeting the needs of larger teams with more complicated access policy rules. Finally, I would like to go over our insight section where we bring together information regarding your cost, your inventory and your utilization. The idea here is to give you a really quick view of what's my spending like, why do I spend this amount and is this spending justified or not. So here, for example, you can see how my run rate evolved over time this week how it breaks down to the different clouds I'm using and the different tags. What's my utilization like? For example, you can see here that I'm monitoring three cores in total, but my load is just 0.27. And this means that I'm probably wasting capacity and I need to destroy some VMs or scale them down. And finally, the machine section where you can see how your inventory evolved over time. Yesterday I was running 21 machines, today I'm running 32. At this point, I would like to mention that everything that I showed you is available over a RESTful API. Our web UI is just another client of this API. In fact, right now we're revamping the API and we're upgrading it to version two. 
on top of this new RESTful API, we're also building a CLI so you can perform all of MIST's action and functionality through your command line interface. But let's show you a quick view of what's available right now. MIST CLI resembles kubectl. So for example, you could do get machine for the full list of the machines that you have running in your account. You can also select to export those to alternative formats like YAML or JSON. So it's super simple to get this information out of MIST and integrate with another system. Another interesting example here is that you could uh, export any number of metadata in whatever format you choose. So a good example here would be exporting just the name and the cost of the VMs in hourly and monthly rates in CSV so you can create a cost report for your team. You can also use SSH to connect to your VMs through MIS CLI. So for example here you will see that I will get into this VM and I could work remotely without even having access to my private keys and credentials. All those are stored on this side and then a tunnel is created so I can connect securely to my VMs without access to my private credentials. So this is it for me. I hope you found it useful. If you have further questions and looking for more information, you can check out our Linode one-click app marketplace listing or you can visit our website at mist.io. Thank you very much.